Hello all, this video is on getting started with the LPC2148 ARM 732-bit microcontroller. Different versions of uh, development boards are available in the market. The older versions require USB to UART board to be connected at ISP port uh, to upload the hex file onto the LPC2148. The reset button and the ISP buttons have to be pressed simultaneously to upload the hex file. In new development boards, this has been avoided and the USB bootloader is implemented using the IC CP2102. This CP2102 IC provides a virtual COM port so that you can connect the USB cable directly to your PC and upload the hex file using flash magic. On board there is 3.3 volt regulator as LPC2148 is 3.3 volt tolerant all GPO pins are 3.3 volt and not 5 volt. Near the USB socket, jumpers are provided so that you can remove it and use it as normal uh, USB HID device. This is the full development board with uh, LCD and USB bootloader. This full development board has got uh, uh, interrupt buttons, reset and ISP buttons. Also for to connect LCD, uh, LCD connectors are provided so that you can easily plug in the LCD onto the board. All data and control pins are uh, already provided on the PCB so that uh, you just need to plug in the LCD. Motor control IC is provided and all port pins are extended. Uh, it has got onboard RTC, LM35, memory IC and also RS232 IC. Also a Zigbee socket is provided so that you can plug in original Zigbee for wireless communication. JTAG connector is provided on board for debugging purpose and all power pins are extended. Uh, a small breadboard is provided so that you can connect some sensors or some peripherals for testing purpose. Uh, let us connect an LED at uh, P0.18 pin for this demo. Uh, long lead of uh, LED is connected to P0.18 and short lead to ground through a resistor. Now let us see the installation of uh, Kale software. Along with C51 Kale software, you have to install the MDK ARM uh, software. Once the installation is over and uh, after starting the project, you may not find the LPC2148 listing in the uh, IC list. For this, you have to uh, install additionally the legacy files. The link is given in the description. Uh, you can download it and install it so that the LPC2148 support is provided. Now open the Kale and then click on project new project. Uh, create a folder and then provide a file name. Select the IC as LPC2148 and click on OK. Now the project is created. To write the C code, you have to uh, right click uh, on uh, uh, source group and then click on add new file, C file. Provide a name to the uh, C file and then click on OK. Now very important is you have to do the target options. Do the settings for the target options. Right click on target and then click on uh, target options. You can bring this window using uh, flash, configure flash tools. These three settings are very important. First is the target. Under target tab, uh, tick, put a tick mark against use micro lib and under output tab, uh, put a tick mark against uh, create hex file and under linker put a tick mark against uh, use memory layout if you miss out any one of these settings your project may uh, compile and uh, hex file is created but when you upload it you will not see any result now let us go to the c code the c code starts with the uh, header file you have to include the header file lpc214x.h and then a delay function is uh, provided. This is an approximate delay uh, so that uh, we can see the LED blinking. 
Before starting the main function, let us see the registers involved with the LPC 2148. Each pin of uh, uh, LPC 2148 is multiplexed and can perform four functions. These functions are defined by the pin cell register. There are three such registers, pin cell 0, which defines P0.0 to 0.15, pin cell 1, which defines 0.16 to 31, and pin cell 2, P1.16 to P1.31. P1.0 to 1.15 is not available for user. As we are using uh, P0.18, let us make pin cell 1 register as 0. So all these 16 pins will be uh, GPO pins. By default, if you give a reset, all pins will be GPO pins. Now we have to set the direction of the pin using the register IO direct register. Uh, there are two such registers, IO direct 0 and IO direct 1. Writing 1 makes uh, GPO as output and writing 0 makes it as input. Two more registers IO set and IO CLR are used to uh, set a bit or clear a bit. Writing 0 to these registers has no effect. So to make a bit 1 use IO set and to make a bit 0 use IO CLR. These are the 32 bits of uh, port 0 and we want to make uh, uh, P0.18 as output. That is uh, an LED is connected at P0.18. So let us make this as 1 so that uh, that particular pin becomes output. In hex uh, we can write it as uh, 0, 0, 0 and this particular uh, nibble becomes 4 and others are 0. So P0.18 is ma made as output. We can also use uh, left shift operator so that binary 1 is uh, shifted in this case 18 times. So 1 left shifted as uh, 18 times will make P0.18 as output. We can use any notation left shift operator or the hex uh, notation. Inside the main loop uh, let us make the pin cell register 1 as uh, all zeros so that uh, uh, that 0 0.16 to 31 acts as uh, GPO pins and then we set the direction of the register that is P0.18 is made as output as we have connected an LED at 0 0.18 we make this uh, particular pin as output and then starts the never ending loop inside the never ending loop we use IO set uh, register we make that uh, uh, 18 uh, p0.18 as uh, 1 so that that particular bit is made high and we call the delay function approximate delay of one second and then we use io clr to clear that bit uh, we use the left shift operator here so left shift uh, binary 1 to 18 times and then call the delay function again Note that we use uh, R equal to operator so that the previous value of the register is not changed and only the particular bit is changed. Now save this file and then uh, uh, compile. Now the hex file is created. You can uh, check this hex file inside your uh, folder. Use F7 button to build and compile the project. Once the hex file is created, use uh, flash magic utility to upload the hex file onto the LPC2148. The download link is given in the description. Uh, install the flash magic and then uh, open it. And uh, options, advanced options, uh, make sure that uh, the use DTR and RTS uh, button is enabled. Select the IC as uh, LPC2148 and the COM port, the COM port alerted to the uh, USB port of LPC2148. When you connect the USB to PC, your COM port is alerted that can be seen from the device manager. Note down this port number and then select it here. Baud rate is 9600, interface is ISP, uh, crystal frequency is 12 MHz, you have to tick mark this area is uh, all flash. You can check the device uh, signature uh, you, under read device signature. Now 
now browse to the location of the hex file it is under your folder uh, browse to the location that is uh, inside objects the hex file is uh, there select that and then click start now the hex file is being uploaded onto LPC 2148 once the hex file is uh, uploaded press the reset button to see the result another utility is there Philips LPC 2000 utility this is also a simple utility you can use this instead of uh, flash magic you have to tick mark the use DTR RTS and then read device ID select the com port and then uh, read device ID browse to the location of the hex file select the hex file and then click on upload to flash this is also a simple utility once the hex file is uploaded you have to press the reset button to see the result thank you for watching